as laptops get older they tend to slow down but there are ways to make them uh, much faster and bring them back to a very usable speed. This is one of the original Core i3s um, from 2013 and isn't particularly fast to boot up but there are two things we can do to uh, make that much faster. So one is to increase the amount of RAM inside and the other one is to swap the hard drive over and replace it with a solid state drive which will make it much faster to boot up. So I've done a different video already to show how to change the hard drive and in this one I'm just going to show you how to increase the RAM. So what you need to do is to turn the laptop over and on the back of it we have this panel here and there are six Phillips headed screws that we need to remove. So you'll need a small Phillips screwdriver and we just need to go through and remove all of these screws. Once you've undone all the screws there's a little notch at the end here we can just get our finger under and gradually prise it up. It might feel quite um, difficult to lift because um, <clears throat> there were some clips around the edge that you just need to uh, to flip off. They're just clipping at the side there. Once that's off, we can see the RAM that we've got in here. So this one's now got two chips in. If I wanted to upgrade this, then I could take one of them out and put a new one um, in to replace it that would be a higher capacity. I'll put in the description details of the, the RAM chips that you need to put in but to actually remove the chip it's there are two clips either side and you just prise them to the side and that then lifts out. When you're ready to fit the new one you just need to make sure that the notch lines up with the carrier here and then it's just a case of gently sliding that in and then that and then pushing down so it clicks in place and you'll then see these clips holding it there and that's now secure and you can see that the gold um, connector is nice and flush in there so it's actually gone in properly if it's not in quite far enough then this will be loose and the chip will probably be able to fall out. Once that's done it's a case of refitting the rear cover. You notice there were some clips at the bottom here so I'm just going to push those in like that and then this clips back in place and we can then put all the screws back and then that's the job done. When the laptop boots, boots up, we can go in and check how much RAM is showing. So this should be on 16 now. Go to the control panel. Go to system and security and view the amount of RAM and processor speed. And you can see here, we've got 16 gigabytes of RAM and you saw how fast the computer was to actually boot up. It was, uh, it was very, very quick now. And this is a seven year old machine.